A broad-ranging speech from climate change to the coronavirus recovery, a clear call for EU unity. We turned fear and division between member states into confidence in our union. We showed that it is possible and what is possible when we trust each other. One of the headline promises in this speech was to increase emissions reductions targets in the EU for 2030 from 40% on 1990 levels up to 55%. European Green Groups still demand more ambition, though. These new targets are an important step forward, but any greenwashing with creative calculations would render them null and void. With the COVID-19 recovery getting underway, the EU Commission will propose greater EU powers for healthcare, which is currently a competency of each member state independently. It will be part of the 750 billion euro recovery package called Next Generation EU. We have to come with concrete uh, proposals in order to spend uh, this uh, important, uh, uh, huge uh, package of money. Amid continuing violent crackdowns on protests in Belarus, von der Leyen called for an EU adoption of a Magnitsky Act, which is a power to sanction foreign individuals for human rights violations. But some MEPs warn there's also work to be done on rule of law concerns within the EU. I was hoping for, um, for a statement on the conditionality mechanism between uh, the rule of law and the financial means. Nothing against a uh, systemic uh, breach of the rule of law, which is the problem that we are facing at the moment, especially with Poland and Hungary. President von der Leyen's first State of the Union speech delivered. Now she'll be expected to deliver on her promises. Jack Parrick, Euronews, Brussels.